I know we don't have a lot of time, so I'd love to just start where things ended because we were not necessarily privy to uh, your last day in the house. And from what you were telling Julie, seems like there was some stuff about the the family style alliance coming to you promising you that they were going to vote for you to stay and then there was this yeah. whole slip up with jared that you identified as well talk me through what was going on with all the interactions you had on your last day oh my goodness okay so on this day on literally right before uh the vote you know i woke up that morning i think feeling better than i felt the pre previous morning um, and I kind of just was double checking, dotting my I's, crossing my T's with everyone I had already spoken with in the house. Um, I think my last conversation might have been Cameron. That didn't really go anywhere encouraging. But um, Matt and I had spoken and he stated like, hey, I definitely want you on my team. You're definitely somebody I want to work with. Corey stated he knows that I'll be good for his game. And, you know, if I have Riley, you know, Cameron, Matt, Jack, then I've got him. So there was, while the live show was going on, even I'm constantly running back and forth to the bathroom, you know, trying to find my water. But at the same time, while people are in the bathroom, just confirming with them, making sure everyone in the house has the same information. Jag and I had spoken right before and he said, hey, um, you know, there's some, how are you feeling? There's some type of way that you may stay in the house. And I asked him, I was like, hey, well, are you saying that you don't think we have it in the vote? He said, I, I talked to Riley. I talked to Matt. I talked to Blue, America. Everyone wants to work with you, but I don't think we have it in the vote because we still need votes on the other side of the house. So I then went on a rampage. I spoke with Jared. I whispered to him on the couch. He didn't hear me. So we went to the bathroom together. I spoke with Nicole as well in the bathroom. I spoke with Corey. And then there was a scenario where we were all pretty much in the bathroom. So Jag was there, Matt was there, Riley was there. And I stated, I was like, listen, so Matt's telling me we're good. Jag came to me and told me we got the numbers. Riley, you're right here. I just want to make sure that, you know, everyone knows everything. Uh, I spoke with Nicole. I was like, hey, will you let the other side of the house know? No, because I don't want anyone on the wrong side of the vote because they had mentioned that'd be an issue. So everyone was one on one accord. Corey was like, yeah, if you've got them, you got me, we're good. So I'm sitting pretty in the <laughs> nom chair at this point. I'm like, okay, no matter what my goal in this house was to campaign until the bitter end. I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure I left no stone unturned and that if I did go home, I wouldn't regret and say, hey, I didn't push hard enough. So I made sure I pushed. I don't know if it showed, but there was one person in that house I hadn't spoken with uh, numerous times on gameplay. These people were all divulging information. Um, I feel like there's a lot of reasons why things could have went the way that they did. But at the end of the day, I was a target, probably the hottest one. So it had to happen. Well, I mean, you talk about talking gameplay. Let's flash back to the very first night that seemed to get you in hot water in the first place. Of course, there's this Phalanx 5 that's made with a bunch of you in the gym. And then just for protection, because you know you're a night one nominee, you go to Sari, you go to Felicia. Of course, you didn't count on the fact that a mother and son would compare notes and certainly get you in hot water. But talk me through your impetus in deciding to strategize so hard on that very first night. Yeah, so um, I actually didn't start Failings 5 <laughs> at all, actually. <laughs> I was not the originator. I didn't even know where that name came from. I think Matt, Riley, and I were like, where is this from? And then one of the house guests goes, oh, it's like a Roman thing. I'm like, okay, whatever. He's like, you guys aren't even going to say it right. So I did not start Failings 5 at all. Um, I think actually what started everything was not any of that. It was actually everyone was socializing. Um, and I remember I was around the island in the kitchen and Jared was in the bathroom and he stated, hey, um, I know that you're having fun, but I just walked in on something in the have not room. I just want to let you know that the game is going on. So I'm like, well, <laughs> well, what does that mean? <laughs> so, um, you know, Sari, Felicia, Nicole and I very early coming into the house had a conversation um, that we would be working together super, super, super early. Uh, America, Blue, and myself, Blue was like, oh, we can be called the City Girls, you know, in my room, super early. This is when everyone, I mean, Corey's still in the nether region at this point, mm -hmm. and all of this is going on. So Phelan's five was towards the end of the night. We'll get back to that. Um, so nevertheless, after Jared lets me know this, this might be around like 1030 p.m., something around that. I go to the room where Felicia is, Sari is, Nicole is, America is, who I know in my head I'm working with. Red, wild card, uh, Bowie is in there. And I go, hey, like, I, I don't know if I mentioned Jared. I might have. I was like, you know, we're talking. 
Red is saying, we're talking about Corey having a power or not having a power. And I said, I believe it to be unfair if he was taken from the game for two hours and missed that period. Um, and he didn't get like any special power or any special, mm -hmm. special fun, you know, thing going on. And now that Jared had just told me that they are working together, I'm more gun ho. Like Corey has to have a power. Like there's no way all of the comp beasts are going to be like, Hey, I want to work with you for no reason when you got dragged away, you know, and red is adamant. No, he's not. No, he's not. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, I go red. Honestly, these people, you know, they're pretty strong at competing at teams. If they would want to work with anyone, it would be you. And Red states, okay, if anyone should go home this week, it's that little feller, Corey. Um, I'm like, okay, that would be the end of the conversation. I don't know where it went <laughs> to Netherland after that, uh, but that was the start of the conversation. Uh, later on in the gym, Phalanx 5 to me was more of a fitness thing. Now, this is about 1.30 mm -hmm. in the morning. This must have been the fourth group conversation of the evening, night one. Uh, and Luke brings up Bailings Five. So I think it's Jared, myself, Riley, and Matt. And it's just on like a gym kick. So the following day or so, I'm like, hey, this is BS. We didn't even get up and work out. There's no point. I think it was starting as a gym workout together thing. But I think obviously we all assumed that over time it would be some sort of like work together angle. Now, of course, before you were evicted, you all had learned about Luke's ejection from the house due to breaking the Big Brother code of conduct. What was the atmosphere like in the house once that news had broken? It was pretty heavy, right? Obviously, people were hurt. I think part of it is, you know, we were concerned maybe how each other was feeling. So it was more of just like a, hey, we all love each other moment, despite any factors that differentiate us. And that was it. We were hugging, you know, we were, we were crying. We were just sharing experiences, you know, people shared experiences where in the past they hadn't stood up, stood up for certain things. And um, so it was just more of like a coming together moment for us. I honestly would call it a family moment. And that's, that was it. It was full of a lot of love. Last thing I want to do is uh, play a little bit of a game with you, Kirsten. So okay. we're going to do a rapid fire word association here. I'm going to give you a name of one of the people left in the house, you have to give me the first word or a few words that immediately come to mind for you about that person. Okay. All right, let's start with America. I love America. America's favorite. She's gorgeous. I, I Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. I, that's what I would say. How about blue? Spicy. Mm. Bowie Jane. <sighs> Bowie is calculated. Mm. How about Cameron? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, I don't know. I think he's a chameleon. Okay. How about Mama Sari? She is dynamic. Mm. How about the nether lad himself, Corey? Corey's smart. I can tell his grandfather taught him how to play chess. Mm. Your fellow blockmate, Felicia. <laughs> She's good. She's good. Hysom. The winner in my heart. Mm. How about Izzy? Smart. Jag? Loving. Honest. Kind. <laughs> Jared. Ooh. <laughs> I think he's got. I think he's got all his cards on the table. I think Jared. Uh, let me think of a word to describe it. Determined, for sure. How, how about Matt? Athletic. Mm. How about me, Cole? God, I don't know. I w I would say, I would call her smart too, but I want to use a different word. Um, me, Cole. Me, Cole. I want her to win. Honestly, I want to see her go really far in the competition. Um, but Nicole, to me, I would, I would say that, you know, she's, she's strategic. She's analytical. I think she's concealing a lot of her intelligence, which she should. So I, I think she's playing a great game. So I would say all those words. <laughs> mm, red. She's smart. <laughs> red, is, then... red is in hiding. Okay. Red is hiding. Like he's hiding how amazing of a player that he's going to be in this game when the moment is right. So I would say calculated. I would say those are my thoughts surrounding Red. And finally, I'm sure you've got a lot of words to describe her, Riley. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
I hope it gets better for Rai Rai. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> uh, how would I? Ooh. I think she's smart as well. It's one of the first things I noticed about Riley uh, when we had our, our first one-on-one. I was like, oh, so she's she's actually intelligent. She's an intelligent woman. Um, yeah, so I just I hope it pans out well for her. 